Denali National Park and info about Denali Bus and Park Tour are coming up next. Are you excited to see the largest mountain in North America or thinking about what to do in Denali National Park, Alaska? Then keep watching till the end. Hey guys, this is Ankit and top 10 things to do in Denali are coming up next. Wildlife Viewing Denali National Park is a ginormous park which is spread over 6 million acres. Here you will spot grizzly and black bears, wolves, doll sheep, caribou, and if lucky you may see arctic ground squirrels, foxes, and marmots. Now you may think how and where to spot wildlife, well there is a bus tour, more on that later. Beautiful Views Gazing at Denali is once in a lifetime opportunity. Here you will be immersed in the beauty of wild landscapes. Denali dominates the landscape of central Alaska standing head and shoulders above the crowd. There are a lot of viewpoints which can be accessed by bus or your vehicle. Driving in Denali National Park Planning to drive into Denali National Park? Well, you will be sad to know that personal vehicles can drive as far as mile 15. While driving, you will be enjoying the mesmerizing landscape in the park. Now, if you are one of that adventurous person who want to explore more, then there is a Denali Road Lottery which gives you a chance to take your vehicle as far as you can into the national park. Denali Road Lottery is a 5-day event where each day 400 permits are issued. Total 2000 permits where 1600 are for the general public and 400 reserved for the member of US military. The road lottery happens on the second Friday after Labor Day and you can apply online during May. For applying and more details, please check the link in the description. Bus Tours If you want to enjoy the views without the hassle of driving, then Denali Park Bus Tours are perfect for you. There are three types of buses. One is the transit buses, another is narrated tour buses, and the third is camper buses. Transit buses are designed to move people around within the park. So if you want to hike or experience the park on your own terms, then this is the bus. You can get off your initial bus while coming back. You can hop on any of these if there are seats available. So you may have to wait for 5 minutes to an hour. These are green buses. Narrated bus tours offers you narrated trips. They stop at various viewpoints from where you can experience views. Here you will have to stick to one single bus. There are different types of tours such as Denali National History Tour which offers you a 5 hour tour till mile 27. Tundra Wilderness Tour is a 7 to 8 hour tour till mile 53 in May or mile 62 from June to mid September. And Kantishna Experience Tour, which is a 12 hour round trip traveling the entire 92 mile road in a day. Here in this package, they also offer you snacks, lunch, and beverages, while above 2 doesn't include any food. So if you are planning to travel deeper, then make sure to carry snacks and food with yourself. For pricing and more details, please visit the website given in the description. Camper Buses If you plan to camp or bike the park's road, then these are the buses that will transport you to the camper ground or backcountry units. You can only reserve these buses in advance if you have a backcountry permit. These buses runs from June 1st to mid-September and you can buy bus tickets online. If you are finding this video helpful then please subscribe as the next few videos will be all about Alaska and with that you can also check out the 15 must hit place in Alaska from the card above. Camping in Denali Want to experience the beauty and wilderness of Denali? More than camping is for you. You can tent or camp with an RV or other vehicles. 
However, RV is limited to the campgrounds only. To access campgrounds, you need an advanced reservation which can be made online as early as December 1st of the year before your visit. You may have to pay a campground fee as well which can be $27 per night. However, camping is free roughly late September to early May each year. Are you excited? If yes, make sure to check out the rules before planning your journey from the nps.gov website provided in the description. Hiking Denali National Park offers you amazing hiking opportunities. Here you can go for a trail hiking with the properly marked trail that are shorter than 2 miles. However, as these are smaller in numbers, so you will be encouraged for off-trail hiking that will provide you a unique and memorable experience. Some of the trails are along a park road which connects the visitor center and other facilities in the park. Some trails are far from the park entrance like the Savage River area which is at 13 to 15 miles on Denali Road. Here you can drive to Savage River or you can also board a free bus called Savage River Shuttle. There are some trails such as Savage River Loop, Savage Alpine Trail, other trails are Tundra Loop, Thoroughfare Ridge Trail and Gorge Creek Trail. You can also explore McKinley River Bar Trail that starts from the Wonder Lake located at mile 85. Discovery Hikes If you are a hardcore hiker, then hiking with a ranger to explore the heart of Denali is a nice opportunity. Here you will start your journey at 8.30 am and will be back by 7 pm. You have to stay well prepared with gears otherwise you may be disallowed to join. The hike time will be 3 to 5 hours. This hike begins on June 8th which ends in early September. Sign up at Denali Visitor Center is required one or two days advance. Denali Sled Dogs Want to see the beautiful and energetic Alaskan Huskies? If yes, then Denali National Park is the only park that allows people to see and interact with its working sled dogs. Sled dog demonstrations are also provided. To visit these dogs, you have to take free buses that leaves from Tenali Visitor Center for the kennels approx 40 minutes before each demonstration. No parking is available at the kennels. The reservation is free. In summers, kennels are open from 9 am to 4.30 pm. Whereas in winters, the kennels are preparing for multi-night trips in the park, so you may have to ask at the Window Visitor Center to visit the dogs. Here you can also adopt a retired dog with some terms and conditions. You would love to learn more on the official website. Flight Scene A dramatic way to tour Denali National Park is from the aircraft. Here you will receive a fantastic aerial view of the park, high summits and even for enhanced flight scene experience, visitors can also opt to land on one of the park glaciers. There are a few operators which are permitted to land aircraft on glaciers. You can grab more info from the description. Also there are a couple of tours on Viator which you can check and book as well. Cycling. If you want to experience the fun way to explore Denali National Park, then you can cycle all 92 miles of the park road. In summers, you will encounter frequent traffic. A cyclist can ride on the park road, parking areas, campground loops, and designated bike paths. If you are an e-bike owner, then you can take it inside but there are a few rules which you need to take care of. You can also take part in overnight trips which definitely will need some planning but it will be an unforgettable experience. Apart from these, there are a few more things which I wanted to share about Denali National Park. 
If you are visiting this park with kids, then kids under 15 years will receive various price cuts in bus tickets. Even there is a guide available which is named as Denali for families. Fourth graders can get free park entrance vouchers. You can also volunteer at Denali and mountaineers can plan for Denali or for acre expedition. Denali National Park is open 24 hours a day. You can travel it by foot, bike or ski all year around. From a car, you can access this park till late September or October from mid-Feb till mile 13 and by mid-April you can travel till mile 30. And the bus services starts from May 15 to mid-September. Till now, you have known most of the things about Denali. Now you may be thinking how to reach Denali National Park. Denali National Park located to 40 miles north of Anchorage. Here you can reach from Alaska Highway 3 or if traveling from Fairbank it is 130 miles south and if you are in Talkeetna it's about 100 miles north of Anchorage. You can also reach here from the Alaska Railroad which connects Anchorage to Fairbanks which will leave you directly to the entrance of Denali. In summers, a variety of private bus and van services are available from Anchorage and Fairbanks. So these are a few things about Denali National Park. For in-depth details, please make sure to visit the official website and if you, if you found this video helpful, then share it with your friends who are planning to visit Denali National Park. And if you are a traveler, then you may find a ton of videos about the amazing places in the US from the description or, or the playlist. Thanks for watching and do subscribe as I will be creating more videos about Alaska. Thank you and goodbye.